Let me show you how fast I can create a dashboard. I go to this website. I click this button. I run this in my terminal. I go to my empty React app. I go to slash dashboard and boom, I have a dashboard. Now you might say this is a boring ass dashboard. Well, let's go to cursor, AKA my best friend and be like, please create a dashboard. And then once it's done, I hit accept all, I do accept file, and then I go back and boom, I have my dashboard, my YouTube dashboard. Super cool, right? I never, ever, ever thought that I'd be a front end engineer, but then eventually I realized just how useful I could be to a company. I want to talk to you about three really important concepts in front end that'll make you a cracked developer. Number one, let's talk about tooling. Now you see these three things here. This is the backbone of the internet. Every single web page you go on is based off of these three things. All right. When I first started out, people were using HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, right? Duh. Now react was able to abstract a bunch of HTML and JavaScript for us, right? HTML being the elements or like the components and then JavaScript being the state stuff, right? Managing states, reactions between the components, etc. Okay. But that left one thing out and that was CSS. Now I know a lot of backend engineers out there who just hate CSS because you need to be creative to use these things, right? Eventually we were able to abstract a bunch of CSS things into Tailwind CSS. And so the team over at Tailwind CSS, which if you don't know already is a super, super cool um, tool. They've made our lives way easier. Let me show you. This is for example, a component that uh, they have here with raw, with raw dog HTML and CSS. Okay. So you can see how verbose it is here, right? Just to make this little um, UI thing, right? But now with Stillwind, if you use their thing called utility classes, you'll be able to code up, code way less and have the same output, which is super cool. You can see here that in your classes, you specify what you want. Now you might be thinking, yo, I have to go learn all of this, right? But secretly, secretly, it's just a few things that you need to learn. These are, for example, the top 10 things you, you can learn in, um, in CSS and that you'll, you'll be using daily, right? So if you master this shit, you will literally become unstoppable. I'm telling you, we're going to touch upon flex and grid for in a minute. But for example, you will have classes that, for example, like, like um, a width and height and padding and shit like that. And like, if you want to make shit rounded, you'll have like the rounded class and then you, you can, you know, you have, they have some medium classes, large class, etc. You can read up all, you can read the specification on the, on the Tailwind website, right? Like Tailwind has a bunch of shit that you can um, read into. Okay. But that's not where it stops. So now that we have this layer of abstraction covered, right? We have CSS covered and that turned into Tailwind, which, which was really nice. This is where actually, this is where I started out actually. So I mastered or mastered, I, I learned how to use Tailwind really effectively. And now I'm able, I was able to create nice components, right? I was really productive in it, but then this went out of the picture and we got Shad CN. Okay. Shad CN is honestly one of the biggest things to happen in web dev. Let me show you. So that's what I did in the hook. That's what I used in the, um, in the start of this video. Okay. So basically you'll have a component library. Shad CN has now abstracted tailwind in a way where you can literally browse any component you want, right? For example, look at all this, right? This is all free shit. You can just go here and pick it up and let me show you. So you can go, for example, to an accordion, right? You know how much time I've spent actually trying to implement this from scratch. It's really hard. But now all I have to do is take this command, run it in my repo, and then boom, I have a, a, a reusable com accordion component that I can just feed the data into, right? And there's also another way to do this. You can also manually install it. So look at this. You have your code here, okay? This is like your, your uh, reusable code, right? And so you can import this shit, okay? You follow the steps here, import this shit into your, into your repo, and then you can... Um, you can if you like this example, for for example, right, you can just copy this code that uses the code from the uh, uses the code that you just copied into your into your repo. All right. And then boom, you have an accordion and it doesn't stop there. You also have gigantic ass layouts like you saw at the start of this video. OK, you can have sidebars and shit like that. Authentication and it's all free. It's all free. You don't need to like attribute shit. Right. It's all free. you can just pick it and use it. And another important thing is that this this chat CN revolution has sparked an entire ecosystem of component libraries. One of my favorite ones is this one, Magic UI. This guy, this guy behind it, this guy, I don't know what, what crack he's smoking, but he, 
he consistently ships beautiful components all right let me show you for example i i'm like i don't consider myself a creative person necessarily uh, definitely not artistic for ui design but if i go here for example right like what the fuck like okay um look at this this component is up for grabs i can literally just copy this shit just like how it can uh, how it can do it with chat cn and it works perfectly chat cn is based on off of tailwind so it uses tailwind behind the scenes so let's say you don't like the way a, a particular thing looks for example like you wanted to make this one um red uh like have a red background you can literally go into the code and change it yourself in tailwind so you see how that 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 that, that scale here all this shit that i um uh that i've nicely drawn here for you it it's it works on top of each other this is what i mean when we call when i say layers of abstraction it's super cool so my stack is basically i use react for my ui i use css um tailwind i used to use tailwind css but now i use chat cn for almost all my components and eventually i, I created like i can show you my my portfolio here right for example i've, I've used chat cn on a lot of um projects but this one is easy to show okay so this is basic you, you can notice this is almost all of this is from um from magic ui right link in the description by the way if you want to check it out really cool stuff and they offer um premium templates these templates are super sick and they're really sleek they're nice and you can just download them and have fun okay and ship software that's what we're all about next let's talk about something called layout all right now if you're a back-end engineer and you're basically new to the whole front-end world of things i mean let me make it really simple for you there are basically three things that you should know for now number one websites basically have either one of these three um layouts okay so the, the first one is something like youtube right i call it the dashboard layout where you have a sidebar here okay and you have your videos here with some utility elements like a search bar or whatever this is very common chat gpt is also laid out like this all right, and a bunch of B2B SaaS is also laid out like this, okay? The next one are landing pages, okay? Let me show you an example of a landing page. This is a very linear, this is a very linear um, web page that goes from top to bottom, all right? You just have some simple components that are in, in it. They're most probably trying to sell you something or to inform you. It's pretty much static without like maybe a few dynamic components here and there. You see this accordion coming back, right? Okay, so... You have a landing page, all right? So, so far we have dashboard and landing page, okay? The third um, layout is like other. That's like you have your game stuff and like fancy ass shit. I'm not that creative, so I don't really touch those things yet. So yeah, there you have it. But if you wanna be really productive, understand you have dashboards and you have landing pages. And if you get really good at those two, you can be really productive and really useful to companies whenever you wanna create software for them. Another thing I wanna to touch upon is the ability to create components okay so we saw big picture stuff right we saw the the layouts right but let's talk about um about the loose components so you will see here on this website it's it's tailwindui.com okay you'll see in this website a bunch of sections right so you know on, on different websites you have like like common components for example ctas and heroes and statistics and testimonials and shit like that right so being able to either A, create this, these things from scratch, or B, buy something like this, and then have this code ready to go whenever you want is super, super, super productive. Let me tell you, if you're a really crack developer, you can do both. You can create them from scratch and then buy a template kit, because then you can you know that the people who created that template kit really cared about what they were doing, so you can always have some nice, sexy looking, sleek looking, modern looking components, really nice. Again, to repeat, ShatCN has all of this stuff. You have all your loose components here and this shit goes, keeps going, right? You have tables, you have tabs, you have toasts. You guys know what toasts are? That's super cool, super useful, right? You have toggles, I, I don't know, like all this shit, right? You have all of this stuff here, which is super cool. One of my favorite is command, right? So look at this, like like this component here is super powerful. It's basically like a drop down with a bunch of um, subsections. So yeah, really nice stuff, okay? But you also have blocks, like I said, right? and charts and themes this is free like this is legit free you can go and use it today and you can speed up your development by 100 percent yeah i just pulled that shit out of my ass but you can speed up your development by so 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 much okay especially if you use things like cursor like ai cursor um ai tools basically check out my video about cursor if you haven't already it's super 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 useful and cursor knows everything about chat cn so 
you can start shipping today basically. The last thing I want to talk about is one of the most important CSS concepts you'll ever need to know. Like this took me years to learn like a dumbass. I got, I'm here telling you this right now so you can stop wasting your time, okay? So that is basically the CSS grid and flexbox paradigm, okay? So the issue is, is that we have a web page, okay? For example, the scale AI, let's say, or no, let's take um, the dashboard. The dashboard is really easy, okay? Let's say we have a dashboard that we want to create. We want, we want to create this, right? So we can basically, we can basically recreate this in a, in CSS, right? Now you might guess how, right? The key here is to separate all of the stuff so let's choose a um a thing with with higher contrast here oh god neil come on man border thickness where's the border thickness here okay let's do that okay so we got our um i, I might as well be a web designer right <laughs> okay so we have all our components here right so we have our um uh sidebar here right we have our content here right and then we got perhaps, our, yeah, let's just keep it like that, right? We have our content here. And then within our, our main content, we have the this grid of videos, for example, right? This is where Flexbox and Grid comes into picture, okay? So basically, they do both of them do kind of the same thing. So I'll pick one and get good at it, I guess. But it's useful to know both. So, for example, if we go to, um, if we want to create like a, uh, a let's say, we have our main content here and then we want to basically create a grid of uh videos here right we could we we should know how to do this in css so you could achieve this by saying yo um code this is gonna be a grid all right it's gonna be a three by three um like a like a three column layout and i want uh 20 pixels gap between each right there's code for that and you can go figure it out like i can type it here i mean i guess the grid calls three um grid. this this is what you would put in your um in your code right in your tailwind code let's say that you only want it to happen on desktop so you can say lg means stands for large large display you'll figure it out in the tailwind docs okay large grid column three that's it if i wanted to have, make this um uh two on tablet for example like i got two by two grid on tablet all I would have to do is go one step down in the thing. So I'd keep this, right? So let's put it like this. Oh, okay. And then I'll write MD and medium, medium screens. Okay. Grid. Oh God. Grid calls. Call two, right? Oh, I forgot the, the, the gap, right? You just straight up write this straight up. And then boom, you have all the shit ready, right? Similar with Flexbox. Flexbox is just different syntax and you realize like for example in um in flexbox you have uh you can either um orient stuff via uh via like like horizontally or you can do stuff vertically right so um you can do stuff vertically like and they have different syntax for that go find a video that can teach you all this shit and trust me if you master this and you master da, 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 where are you chat gpd here if you master this shit like how to use these, these tailwind classes and you also use these components here trust me and obviously you'll have to copy that code into your code base you have to tweak it a little bit and you'll realize that front end is at your fingertips man front end will be super easy 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 to do man and so i hope this video shows you that you can do this if you want as a back-end engineer you can create front ends when it comes to engineering, we only care about one thing, right? Shipping good software. Like, I don't understand these people that have, like, specific titles, like back-end engineer or front-end engineer. Like, obviously, you have those people that are super good at back-end engineer, but for the, well, in their specific thing, but for the most, for the most people out there, they're, these are self-imposed labels that they put on their, above their head when they go to work. You can become a front-end engineer if you want, man. It's just a matter of learning. And so I hope these three things, right? The right tooling the understanding of um patterns right the layout the layout patterns that i just described to you and important css concepts like flexbox and grid can give you the right starting points to go become a front-end developer i i shit you not you make one maybe two maybe three websites with this with, with what i just mentioned you just go try it out by then you can call yourself a front-end engineer sure you'll be a junior front-end engineer or whatever but you will be a front-end engineer and dude let me let, let me be honest with you front-end engineering is literally equivalent to everything the user sees. As a software engineer, you're creating software for your users, right? And the front end is literally the only thing that the user sees. So if you master front end engineering, you can literally craft user experiences. 
Like, be philosophical in the way you think about these things. So yeah, it doesn't matter what complex backend processes you have or whatever task queues or whatever, right? Like, it doesn't matter if your front end is shit. So use these um, pieces of advice and trust me, you'll be golden, okay? Listen, um, if you like this video so far, or like, yeah, if you like this video, dude, just hit, fuck it, like, press the subscribe button, man. Like that shit, subscribe, all that cringy shit, bro, and let's grow together, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna create some videos that I hope will help you become really cracked, man. Because I've been on a journey to become cracked myself. I don't know when I'll get there, but one day, uh, not only I will, but I hope you will too, man. So we can create software that people really love to use, okay? So press that subscribe button, stay up to up to date. Find a way to contact me if you need some help with this shit. I don't mind, I don't mind. I'm 25, man. I, I, You know, I don't have a girlfriend yet or whatever. Um, So I, I got a bunch of time, man. So just hit me up. Talk, let's talk about what you're struggling with and we'll figure this, we'll figure this shit out together, all right? Thank you so much for stay, uh, you know, staying, staying, um, staying so far. Uh, I have, a, I have a really nice quote I like to sign up my videos with. Life is a gift given by the gods to make a proper use of it, okay? So um, I'll find you in the next one, man. All right, stay tuned for, for, the, for the next video. Love you, take care, bye.